If you sew, you're probably cringing so bad right now. We got his results in for his DNA that we sent away. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. You say that everything. Okay, that just took me a ridiculous amount of time. I don't know if I'm gonna even include this clip in the vlog, but just for the sake of being real, I guess, Sean just called me. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I think I start every video in a different location, but today is another market prep video. An update on my laptop screen. It's completely broken, the screen. As far as I know, the laptop itself is fine, like the software, um, but the screen just, it's completely black and therefore unusable. I can't use my laptop if I can't see what I'm doing. So I used Sean's laptop to edit last week's video and I'm not even kidding, it probably took like 12 hours to finish editing. I already had like half the video edited. So to finish editing that video, which it was a long video, it was like an hour long, but it took me like 12 hours to finish that and then to upload it. Gosh, it took me forever to upload it too. So I'm not so excited to deal with that again this week, but I'm hoping we can get my screen fixed soon. We're waiting on a quote. Yeah, we were supposed to get a quote by yesterday, I think, so I'm not sure what's happening. But today is Wednesday, and I have a market on Saturday. Sean is currently away on a business trip. He's gone until tomorrow evening. He left at like 6 a.m. this morning. So I'm full Duncan duty. If you're new here, we have a puppy named Duncan. I don't know if you can see him. He's behind me. So yeah, I want to have a really productive few days up until the market. I'll film the market as I always do as well. But the goal is to make a lot of car coasters, which is typically the goal. And I also just got my keychain order in. I have some new designs, so that's how I want to start this video. I want to open my keychains and I also want to film doing that on my phone uh, for TikTok and Instagram. And then I want to take some photos and post the new designs on Etsy. And then we're just going to make inventory this week. We'll see where the week takes us. Um, obviously, already halfway through because it's Wednesday. The time has been flying. This is the current status of my sheet. So this is for the pop-up. This is my own inventory. This is for an order. She did gray clouds with a pink sky. And then I have some other coasters traced on there ready to punch needle. The order needs to ship out by Friday. So this sheet has to be done by Friday. But yeah, let's go take a look at the new keychains. Before I do the keychains, I actually forgot I have another package that I opened, but I didn't like fully open it. But if you watched my last vlog, I was talking about how I want to make punch needle kits. I don't have a timeline for when I want to get that done. Although maybe this week I'll order more stuff for it, like the embroidery hoops. But we have a very important part that just came in, the punch needles. So Sean ordered nine punch needles. Um, that's all they had left in stock. So, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. Oh, I really wanna do kits. I have to now, now that I have all these punch needles. I'm gonna take them out of the Ziploc, I think. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is very exciting. Now that I ordered that, I'm like pretty tempted to order some embroidery hoops. I think I wanna order them this size, so I'm gonna measure it seven and a half. So I'm gonna take a look at some frames right now. Very excited, I'm gonna actually post about this on Instagram right now, and then look at some embroidery hoops, then we can get to the keychains. I just realized I can't like pull out my laptop and look at the embroidery hoops, so I'm gonna use Sean's laptop to do that. And I failed to explain this, but the reason his laptop is so slow is because it's a 2014 laptop, MacBook. He has a more recent computer from his school, um, from college, that he uses. I just placed an order for embroidery hoops. I got 18 six inch wooden ones. So I'll see how I like those. Um, if I don't like them, I'll just return them. But yeah, I got it for a bulk price from Michaels. And I tried using a coupon code because if you know, Michaels always has active like 20, 25% off coupon codes, but it was off regularly priced items. 
and I got like a bulk price, so I think it didn't work for that reason. But okay, let's open these keychains. I've talked about it enough. I just unpacked all of the keychains. They come in little plastic bags, which you just saw, but all those bags are compostable. So if you're watching that, like cringing, you're like, oh my gosh, so much plastic. I hope that puts your mind at ease. But that took quite a while. I knew it would. This is like my third or fourth shipment of keychains. It always takes a while to unpack them and then organize them. It's almost 12 o'clock. This is what's in front of me. I organized them all and right now I'm gonna go through and count them all and make sure that everything's here and then I'm gonna put them away and then we'll get going on car coasters. Okay, this vlog has been very chatty so far, but it's a bit later. It's already three o'clock and sometimes things take way longer than I anticipate and editing the TikTok and uploading it took a while. Um, again, I'm using a slow computer so that didn't help. But everything is uploaded and I have two keychain orders to pack. I actually just got an order. I'm curious if that has anything to do with the TikTok or Instagram reel I just posted. But one of the orders was placed yesterday, I think. And I forget actually what it was for. I think it's for a Bernie's mountain dog. And then the other is for a Siamese cat. So I'm gonna pack those orders right now. And I think I'm also gonna film that on my phone for Instagram and TikTok as well because I'm just trying to be better with content. And as of recently, I got a tripod for my phone. So now I can like film the same content on both my phone and camera because I have two tripods. So yeah, let's do that. And then finally we can start working on coasters for today. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. If I could show you, I'd hope that you could see All the possibilities, there could be a place for you and me And under the stars, you pack up your car, cause you're going far It's the next morning, today is Thursday and it's 10 o'clock. I've been taking care of my parents' cats since they've been gone on vacation and they're gone for like a total of 12 days. So I've been driving over to their house for 9 a.m. in the morning and then 9 p.m. at night to feed them and do the routine. So I just got back from doing that. So my work day is officially starting. I already ate breakfast, did all that, did Duncan's routine. And this is where we're at after yesterday. All I got done for punch needling is two coasters. So today is a big car coaster day. I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna be doing. I can't think of anything else I need to do. I've uploaded more TikToks as well since last talking to you. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started on this and we'll see how much we can get done today. Also, I got another order for car coasters, so I might have to add that to the sheet later 
or I can just check my inventory and see if I have what she ordered, but yeah. Every little thing adds up. I'm over it, but have It's 10 of 12, I've just been punch needling, and this is where we're at. I have two flowers and two donuts I finished, and then the only two that I have traced left on here are bees, so I'm gonna do that and then trace more coasters for the order, and then I also have another order that was just placed for a phone grip, so I'm gonna trace that as well. But right now, I'm gonna take a quick pause from tufting and I'm gonna look on Sticker Mule for a sticker for the office, like a big sticker with my logo. I love to watch like market videos. I love to watch small business videos while I work and I was just watching an office organization video and she had those stickers and so, and I thought they were so cute. So I wanna look at that. If it's pricey, I'm not gonna do it, but I just think that would be a good thing to have in the background of my videos when I'm filming. Although lately I'm not even in my office, but but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. And if I do end up purchasing, I'll show you the computer and what the design's gonna look like. Okay, that just took me a ridiculous amount of time to upload the graphic, like my logo, to Sticker Mule because of the slow laptop I'm using. And then my iPad is also out of storage, so I had to go through and try and delete like bunch of big files but it wasn't deleting because my iPad's being so slow because it's out of storage it was a whole thing but I think I'm gonna get the sticker and originally I was thinking about putting it right here but now I'm thinking maybe I put it above the packing station what do we think let me know what you think and I'm definitely gonna take it into consideration so I'm definitely leaning towards putting it above the shipping space because I think it's just gonna be too cluttered and I feel like it might clash with this wall and I'm getting a two foot by two foot circle sticker. But yeah, I think I'm gonna order it right now and I will share it probably on all social medias once it comes in and it's hung up. So this is my logo. So this will be printed uh, as two feet by two feet and then I'll be able to put it on the wall. Wait, wake me up when it's over. Just wake me up when it's over It's 1.10 right now, and I don't know if I'm gonna even include this clip in the vlog, but just for the sake of being real, I guess, Sean just called me and told me that the you fix I break called regarding my laptop screen, and they quoted him $1,200 to replace the screen, and the laptop was $1,800, so I'm like, <laughs> Sean's the best and he's like I can help you with it but I don't even know if I want to get a fix right now but like I also kind of have to because his laptop is so slow like it's very hard to work on it and just so time consuming to edit a video or really do anything um, but that's like double what I thought the quote was gonna be and I was even hoping it was gonna be less than that so like less than 600 so I'm emotional just because that's a lot of money and I don't have a lot of money right now. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to include this in the video because it's kind of, I don't know if it's necessary to include, but yeah, that sucks. That's the update on my computer screen. I didn't think it was going to be cheap, but I didn't think it was going to be $1,200 and that's from a third party. So we're going to go to Apple and see what they say. 
as well. It's not the end of the world. Anything that money can fix is not the end of the world, but it just really stinks because I wasn't planning on that happening. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep punch needling. I'm almost done, or I'm just, I'm pretty much done the bees, and I'm gonna trace some more. Right, make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach, get our toes wet, and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again, cause I don't want my day to end with always running in circles. Try to make up my mind. Should I ask you? I'm too scared of ask, but I'll probably ask you this time. It's been a couple of hours, okay, a couple of days. Trying to choose where I wanna take you and rehearsing what I'm gonna say Cause I have been planning for quite a long while Been to asking your friends how to best make you smile and I don't want Okay, it's 10 of 5 and I'm just checking in I still have some work to do on the coasters, I'll show you it in a second But Duncan has been absolutely insane today like just getting into everything, biting. I think he's teething super bad. Actually, one of his teeth in the front is wiggly. And he lost a couple of teeth last week too. He actually lost his two front teeth last week, but they're already in um, and replaced by adult teeth. With him being crazy and then the laptop screen and then it's like so humid out, I've just been a little stressed today. But let me show you the coasters. Nonetheless, we still have to get work done. So I did, two no one wave i did the blue on these two and then i'm doing a blue and white wavy squiggle one so i'm gonna finish these three and then do a couple of phone grips and then the sheet will be done and ready to do the backings i don't know if i'm gonna do the backings tonight or tomorrow we'll see i might just start them tonight we'll see because i have to ship this out tomorrow so either way obviously this is gonna get done by tomorrow but yeah let's crank these out Okay, it is 7.45 and I have a couple of updates. First update is just my progress. So this is what the sheet is looking like. I have one coaster left. Um, I'm gonna do a grapefruit. This is the same design that I use for the lemon, lime, grapefruit, and orange. But I'm gonna make that one a grapefruit and then I'll be done with the sheet. And I'm gonna do the backings tomorrow. But I wanna at least get that grapefruit done tonight. And then the other update is so exciting. It has nothing to do with the business and everything to do with Duncan. We got his results in for his DNA that we sent away. So we have his breed information, weight estimate, potential health risks, a lot of different things. But what I feel like people are most interested in is his breeds and his weight estimate. So I'll start with the weight. They're estimating 38 pounds, but they also have like a disclaimer saying it's not super accurate for small breeds, like very small breeds and then large breeds. And once you hear what he's a mix of, he's a large breed. So I definitely think he's gonna be over 38 pounds. And the vet also made a comment that he was growing at the rate of a Labrador, which I think, I don't know how much a lab weighs. 64 to 79 pounds. So, I think he's gonna be bigger. We won't know until he's full grown, but let me get into his breed summary. It's what I expected and not what I expected. I thought he was gonna have golden retriever in him, and then I also suspected Pyrenees because that's what we were told he had, was Pyrenees in him. There's no Pyrenees that's mentioned. 
maybe a little bit in like the super mutt portion. So I'll start by saying he's 15.8% super mutt, which is like traces of breeds. And from that, they think there could be traces of Collie, Bulldog, and Beagle. But the breed that he is the most of is 17.2% American Pitbull Terrier. And I'm laughing because I just didn't expect that at all. I think it's funny. That's definitely why his ears are floppy like that. He definitely has Pitbull ears, which I never even thought about. Then he's 16.9% Chow Chow, which that's interesting because one of the front desk people at the vet was like, oh, he definitely is Chow Chow. And I don't know how they saw that because I look at Chow Chow puppies and I don't see any similarities, but I mean, they obviously see a lot of dogs and a lot of mixed dogs. But so yeah, 17.2% American Pitbull Terrier, 16.9% Chow Chow, 12% Labrador Retriever, which I suspected as well, 11.9% Golden Retriever, love Goldens, 10.3% uh, Cocker Spaniel, 8.6% German Shepherd, 7.3% Boxer, and then 15.8% Super Mutt. His highest percentage is Pitbull, but he is about 24% Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, so like a retriever. Crazy. I don't know if anyone else finds that super interesting, but I find it very interesting. And it says, discover dogs who share a similar breed mix to Duncan. A higher score means the two dogs have more of their breed mix in common. A score of 100% mean they share the exact same breed mix. And there's some 91% alike ones. I wanna show you the photo. They look so different. Okay, so this is one that is 91% the same breed mix as Duncan. This one, who just looks like a yellow lab to me. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna finish this grapefruit coaster. Can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood's right. Make plans till the sunrise. And sleep till noon, I'll take you to the beach. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again, cause I'm the one my day to end with. It's 8.45 and the sheet is completed. I'm gonna finish the backings tomorrow, like I was saying. I could cut them out tonight, but I also wanna film it for Instagram and TikTok. So I will be doing that tomorrow. I feel good. I'm excited to get these finished. It's Friday. I almost said it's Friday morning, but it's not. It's Friday at noon and Duncan and I had a great morning. Let me walk you through everything we did. I haven't eaten breakfast. I realized that on the way home. My plan was to go feed my parents' cats and take him on a little walk around their neighborhood and be back at like, I don't know, 10 and then eat breakfast. Well, we did that and then I ran to the post office because I had to check on a package for Sean. And he came into the post office with me. I asked them, they said it was fine. So did that and then went to Joanne Fabrics because I actually don't know who commented or where they commented, but someone commented on maybe, oh, someone messaged me on Instagram, I have to respond. She said, not sure where you buy your felt, but Joanne has it on sale this week. Well, I think it's still on. Thank you, Sonia, pretty sure that's her name. Sonia underscore of underscore all underscore trades. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's her Instagram tag. And she also has a small business, so. But we did that. I grabbed some felt, just like four and a half yards of it. So I am stocked on felt for quite some time. Don't have to worry about that. And I also got some fabric for dog bandanas. And I want to make them for Duncan, but I also want to sell them. So I'm hoping later today or tomorrow, I can set up my sewing machine and start making some dog bandanas. Actually, it wouldn't be tomorrow, unless I don't know what time that fair ends. Maybe tomorrow, but sometime soon. I got some fall fabrics and a couple summer ones, but honestly, mostly fall because it's right around the corner. So for summer ones, I got this really cute strawberry one. So cute. They had so many designs to choose from. I knew they would, but just really, really cute. Okay, then the other summer one I got is this barbecue one. I think it's adorable. And then if you didn't know, Dunkin's name is spelled the same way as Dunkin Donuts. So I got a donut one. 
And then for the fall fabrics. So first is like a Halloween one. I didn't realize this, but the white ghosts glow in the dark. So a ghost fabric. So this is just a neutral pumpkin design. I love fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season. And then this is just like a nice fall color, mustardy color with some crosses on it or diamonds, sparkles, if you will. And lastly, I got this flannel print. And these are all cottons because that's the most breathable. Oh, Sean just got home. But yeah, I'm going to finish the backings of these coasters, make some content, pack some orders. Oh shoot, I have to get an order out in the mail today. I forgot about that. And then I will talk to you and we'll see if I can do the sewing machine. Seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel. So lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not about to come the way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity. To you, to you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still mm, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have. I just finished packing up the orders and I dropped them off at the mail room. It's 2.45, so I'm hoping that it wasn't too late. But I'm officially all caught up with orders, so love that feeling. And now I'm gonna restock the other car coasters, big coasters, like just put them on the board. And then I'm gonna look at my sewing machine because I feel good about inventory for tomorrow. Also, I just had the stressful realization that I cannot restock stickers later tonight. I'm pretty good with stickers but by the next fair, I'm probably gonna have to do some restocking. And the Cricut software and all of my designs are on my laptop. Although if I download Cricut and sign in, I should be able to do that on this computer. So there is a workaround. Okay, I'll deal with that later, probably not today. But I was gonna say I'm gonna restock stickers later tonight, but I really don't think I have to. And I don't feel like dealing with the Cricut software right now. So let's just restock these coasters. Okay, so I don't have a ton, but better than nothing. I was out of the bees, so I have two bees here. I have a big cloud, which that goes in a separate bin. Two flowers, I was also out of flowers. Um, two donuts, put those here. Um, this is just a squiggle one right here. I haven't done a blue and white one yet, but I'm like realizing a lot of my designs have blue, so that could be a good pair. Um, waves. I've been out of these and I don't think I realized it. I'm gonna put that next to the ladybug. I feel like that's a cute section. And then I'll have to figure this out. Okay, then I have two peaches. I wasn't out of this, but I only had one left. And then, sorry about the shadow. Um, and then I have one grapefruit. So, this is what the board looks like. Looking pretty stocked. 
And now I'm gonna take a look at my sewing machine. My goal is to set it up and honestly make a bandana or two today, we will see. But I don't think I'm gonna film like playing around trying to set it up. I'm hopefully just gonna check in once that's done. And I'm planning on just watching like a YouTube video on how to do it. It comes with instructions, but I'm more of a visual learner. Like I'd much prefer to watch a video. Okay, very exciting things happening. I just threaded the machine. That's not a great angle, but threaded the machine. I have my bobbin ready and I have the fabric that I want to start with. I'm not going to attempt to sew uh, before my workout class tonight. I have a workout class at 445, but I do want to cut up the fabric for the first two bandanas. So I'm going to start with this donut one. I probably should practice before just jumping into a project, but I think this is a fairly easy project. And I also have the personality that I don't want to practice and I just want to make something. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this into an 18 inch square, which is the size that you want for bandanas for medium dogs. So I think I'm going to start by just selling medium bandanas. Also, Sean made a point that I totally forgot. When you apply to fairs, you have to tell them what you're selling, right? And most of the time, you cannot sell anything that you didn't tell them you're going to be selling. So I'm going to have to get approval to sell these at a fair before I can do that. In other words, I can't just bring this to tomorrow's fair if I have some made. So I'll be reaching out to whatever fair that I want to sell these at. But yeah, let's cut up this fabric and then I'm going to get ready for my workout class because it is 3.52 and Sean will be home from work soon as well. So he can watch Dunk. Okay, I have to say, if you sew, you're probably cringing so bad right now. I'm about to cut this in the most improper way. I don't have fabric scissors, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work. I think I'm gonna fold this in half, and hopefully it will be pretty straight and accurate. I think I'm gonna get a mat and proper materials for when I start making them for the markets. Okay, I have my first piece of fabric and this is actually pretty exact. I don't know how perfect it has to be, but I'm sure I can fix it up at the end if there's like any issues. But I'm gonna go to my workout class and when I get back, I'm gonna attempt to make a bandana. I really don't know what it entails. I did watch a video, but I didn't absorb too much because I didn't have the sewing machine yet, but it doesn't look too difficult. So fingers crossed I can get this done tonight just because I want to. I am back from my workout class. It is almost 6.30 and I'm gonna sew this bandana. I have a video, let me tell you. Okay, so the account is so very easy, like S-E-W, and it's how to make a dog bandana. So that's the video I'm going off of. So yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make this. Okay, here goes nothing. Wait, maybe we should turn it on. <laughs> So next morning, it's 7 a.m. and we're about to leave. I didn't end up vlogging a lot more last night um, because it just got late and I still have to make like pasta salad for today. But I will see you at the market. We have our assigned spot already. I'm hoping we have enough time to set up. We're getting there around 7.30. They want you set up by 8.30, but the fair starts at nine and it's nine to three. So are you ready, bud? Duncan, are you ready to go have a good day? Too soon, yeah, I you know we just met. What I got to lose, gonna send me a dress. I don't like to wait, so you better not leave me on red. No, not tonight, cause I'm over with some friends and I.
Okay, so we're all set up and this is a quick tour of the booth. So on the outside I have all my keychains. I have the dog keychains and cat keychains. And then I set up like opposite of how I usually do at this fair, but I have my tote bags to the right. These are all punch needled, but then I do have some transfer tote bags. And then I have my stickers. There's four sides to this and it spins. Sean made this like a few months ago, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, this spins. And then I have my phone grips and next to that I have my large coasters and then all of my punch needle car coasters. And then we have the candles that are obviously made in recycled cans and then we have citronella ones that we separated to the side. So this is the overview of my booth. Take a look out the window Spirit goes up as the rain falls down I've been sitting on the wrong course Keeping it together like I did before Think that I've said this a few times Just to give me space Cause I wanna believe that Ooh, I get lost You go with your day Slowly get closer But you're moving away I know it's just a recap But I'm sure you'll never see that I'd rather take it all back Maybe it's time to get home Think that It is three o'clock and we're currently leaving the fair. I was actually wrong about the time, which is funny because I thought it was nine to three and then the fair like signs leading up to the fair said nine to three, but it actually was going until four. So I thought I was gonna have to be here till four, but turns out I, I'm clearly happy about leaving early. Let me explain why. It is so hot. Like, it's insane. It was 86. It's funny too, because having Duncan now, I leave these summer fairs like sweaty and dirty. <laughs> like, he was digging in the grass and in the dirt, and like, I got on myself and I'm ready for a shower. He needs a bath. <laughs> but the reason that the fair ended early, it actually ended at 2.30, um, is because there's a thunderstorm rolling in, so they wanted to just call the fair, which I respect because people aren't gonna be shopping during a thunderstorm, and vendors are not gonna be happy if it's pouring rain. So we have a 30 minute drive home. That was a decent fair. It's weird, like it sales wise, it wasn't much better than the last one, but the vibes were better. There was like more people there, but they were there I think for the food and the like festivities for kids. There's a lot of kid friendly things going on. We made $388. Also, there's an update on my laptop screen. We went to Apple to get a quote and he quoted us about 750, about 750. So that's cheaper than 1200. Feel better about it. Still don't feel great about that. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.